Norman. Very popular man, Greg Norman. Only one victory in this great championship, and in fact only one major, which would surprise anyone in golf, knowing as he plays. And Turnberry, we return there next year. I have a feeling that Greg Norman will not spare himself today. He's going all out for victory. And that, provided it doesn't kick to the right, is very, very long indeed. And it's settled on a nice, gentle upslope, which will do no harm at all for the second shot. Greg Norman, just 111 from the perfect side, a wonderful drive, 111 to the front, another 17 on, so he can get at this. Just a, a wedge for Greg Norman. Going for it now. Is he going to get a friendly bounce? He certainly is. That's a very good opening shot. And beware all who are watching. beauty. Well, he's missed it to the left, Langer missed it to the right, and as we saw a moment or two ago, Price knocked it right in from there. Now Norman tapping this one in for his par at the second. Shot. This didn't have the fire in it that uh, Langer's did to take it up to the flag, but two very fine shots. Oh, he has done it. And I tell you, when he gets on rolls like this, we all have seen what can happen, so he's now leading. The first time, I think, in this championship, nine under par, two under after three. Well, have birded the first three holes. He had a, a short putt at the second, and that's a big drive there. Well, usually says he's pleased with it, that kind of look on his face. But no, it's a long way away, but it's still on the green, and that is on this par four fourth uh, really a bonus, and the par four is well worth having. One would be better, wouldn't it? Oh, <laughs> that was a wonderful touch. Wunderschön. He's back to being a, a bit more colourfully attired today. One or two of my ch chums after a rough night out wouldn't fancy looking at that for too long. But. Norman, who's made an excellent start to the championship's final day. He is taking no chances, no chances with carrying it over the dunes. He's absolutely in position, eh? There you can see the pin and the green. A shot of about 160 yards for a three. But it does become 
Somehow it does become harder to hold when someone else has knocked in a long one. And a three-quarter swing. And for the moment, at least, he's enjoying it. It's a very exciting hole, this sixth to play. Huge crowds on the maiden. Norman at the sixth now. He's done it. He leads by two. He leads by two. What a start he's made. 3-4-2, four, 4-4-2. Four, 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 Three birdies in the first six holes. And it tastes good. That's perfect. That'll do a treat. And green well within range at this par five. Slightly awkward is the ball's going to be six to nine inches below his feet, but that's no real problem for a golfer of his caliber. What's going on to the front of the green? Is it going to roll up and off or not? Oh, down that slope. Not a bit unlucky, though, really. A good shot by Norman on this par five. That's the kind of a shot that you just don't practice very much, and that's what happens sometimes. Boy, what a disaster that was. But he can still make par. Norman three-putted here yesterday for a par, and that's a better one, though. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, what he'd have given to have done that the first time. But still, it's a par five. Very, very unfortunate break for Greg Norman. The one thing he's been doing all week really well is driving the ball. Not sure where that ended up, but there it is, right in the middle. I'd like to make up for that last hole and put this one really close. Uh, he didn't do it. Just on the fringe there. That's going to do pretty well. It's just come up. He couldn't believe it could be short, I don't think. Very nicely played by Greg Norman. These are the ones that test your courage, and he's got it. by about 18 inches, and he's about three inches or four inches away. That'll be a tap-in birdie, and Greg Norman will go to 11 under par. Well, there was a feeling earlier in the, in the week at the beginning of the championship that the, the galleries were a bit subdued, but I think they're beginning to ignite, and... Uh, as no one will do that more than Greg Norman. Oh, it looks a wonderful shot if it's the right club. Oh, it's a very good shot by Greg Norman. Another good chance for a birdie out here on the tenth. So close. 
close, how close. I was one who witnessed his 64 in the last round at Royal Troon when he came so close to winning his second championship. And uh, it was a succession of birdies from the first hole. I think he started off with six of them. And he was rather unlucky there. He just didn't give it quite enough. This tap in stayed 11 under. Well done, he's two shots clear of Bernhard Langer and Nick Faldo. Uh, stay there, stay there. And that's not as bad as it looks. That grassy bank is quite high and he's probably just on some fringe grass there. Clumsy. He's got it. He's got it. A clumsy, somewhat clumsy pitch, but a very important putt that. legs quite sharply to the right and Greg has almost run out of fairway on the left hand side but he's all right. Craig Norman at the 12th. Yes. very confidently and comfortably. 12 under now. This for the members is the stroke index number one. Down right to the far end of the course. 443 yards. What's happened with this is got it the right side of it. He certainly has. That's another wonderful shot by Norman, and the shark is really biting today. Looks good. Two, 12 under through 13 holes. Oh, that's a beautiful drive pitched. Sadly for him, it pitched into the upslope of one of those little humps and killed it. Didn't get any forward chase. big hop but it went up in the air instead of forward but there are two mighty blows and he's lying all right and lots of room to pitch the ball Norman looking very good indeed here at the 14th Boom, up she goes oh, a gem. Hello. Oh, no. oh nearly 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 did it again. He held out for a four, and I think he's at this moment, we mustn't speak too soon, but at this moment he's getting a little bit back for all the times he's had the dirty done to him. In the golfing sense, I hasten to add. 
Oh, that's a wonderful little pitch. I think he might just walk up and nudge that. He looks so relaxed, Mark McCormick was saying this morning. He, he'd never, he, he'd never seen him look so relaxed. A few split ends, but he looks relaxed. Shots and he's hit a cracking drive up the 15th. Mm. Oh, he's misjudged, and that's the one place not to be. Obviously, well, should have been a six iron, but now at least the only thing that he's got is plenty of the green to work with now. You can see it breaking away to the right, and now it should come back. No, it didn't come back. It started to continue off to the right, in fact. So it's possible a shot could be dropped here just by miss clubbing, but taking one club too few. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock, the question was asked there, and my word, and whip the answer back as sweet as a nut, stays at 13 under. Two ahead, still work to do. Is that three-quarter swing again? Looking quite anxiously as you would under such circumstances, but no need. That could be a winner. It could be a championship winning shot from Greg Norman at the 16th hole. Bang. Well, he hit that hard. I, he knew the circumstances. He's trying to close the door on him, and look at those figures there. Not, not a drop shot. Not a drop shot, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven birdies. Out in 31. Three under par coming home. Yeah, uh, cracking, cracking drive. There's only been five birdies today at the 17th, and of Paul Laurie's eagle. And there have only been two threes at the last hole. Greg Turner and Jose Rivera. Head away. Back on the breeze. Oh, marvellous. 14 under par. Be two pars from here. Or, in fact, a five and a four, and he'll break the Open Championship record for four rounds. Currently, of course, held after that epic battle in 1977 by Tom Watson versus Jack Nicholas. 268, that was. Two fours for 266. First time, he's thinking all he has to do is not make any mistakes because he's been aggression itself up to here. <sighs> well, he always has the capacity to amaze us. He should still have enough shots in hand. Two now. That's a good one. There she goes. Scandal that stopped very quickly. Just pitched into an upslope, but safely on the fairway. Mm. Lots of adrenaline, so he might well have taken one club less than usual. How about that? Thank you very much. Well, he gave his supporters a heart attack at the last hole, but what a beautiful iron there.
So it will be a four. Oh. Oh. I remember what happened the last time. This for 64. champion golfer for the year with a score of 267, Greg Norman. Yeah.